Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode, we are going to control four devices using this remote. This remote comes with a module that is called YK04, which allows you to control four devices. We are going to use these buttons and we are going to integrate the four channel relay module, which allows us to control a high voltage device like a lamp. For example, we can use the letter C or the button C to control this uh, light. So we're going to use these buttons as a toggle. Also, we can control the other devices using the relay module. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. To follow along, you can download the project files, including the circuit schematic diagram. We're going to use an Arduino board like the Arduino Nano, the YK04 module, and the remote control. Let's start by talking about the uh, YK04 module. So we have to connect the ground to the ground of the board. The five volts goes to the five volt pin so that we can power up the module. Then we have four outputs. Of course, it's an input for the Arduino. So this pin outputs a voltage whenever we press uh, the button A. This one, when we press the button B, C, and D. Then we're going to read this voltage from the Arduino Nano or the Arduino Uno. So we have to connect these pins to the digital pins number two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to use the digital read command to read the voltage. And we're going to check if we press the button and release it, which means we read uh, zero volts. And the previous value of this pin is five volts. That means we have pressed the button. In that case, we are going to toggle the state of the relay module. For example, we are going to turn on and off the lamp, the fan, or any device that you want. But here you could deal with a high voltage and you need to be careful. To control the relays, we are using the pins number 6, 7, 8, and 9. We are going to see these in the code. I'm going to explain it later on. And uh, before we move on to the code, we need uh, to connect a 5 volt adapter to the relay module because the Arduino doesn't have enough current to power up the module. That's why it is recommended to use a 5 volt adapter. And the current is 2 amps, it's going to be enough. You have to connect the negative lead to the ground of the relay module. The positive lead goes to the 5 volt pin and here you have to connect the ground of the 5 volt adapter with the ground of the board or we won't be able to control the relay module with the Arduino. Now I highly recommend you to uh, stop the video and connect all of these. Then we can move on to the code. We're going to open up the Arduino IDE and you will find the code under the video description. On top we have few variables like the input pins. We have used the pins number 2, 3, 4 and 5. So if you have used uh, different pins, you could change them from here. Also the output pins, which are the relay pins, we are using the pins number six, seven, and pin number nine. And here we have few variables to uh, integrate the toggle uh, functionality because we need to know the old value and the new value. And here we have the device state, whether it's on or off so that we can toggle it. Under the setup function, we are using the input pins as inputs and the output pins as outputs so that we can control the relay module. And here we are making sure that the relays are off. So the relay here is working in an opposite way, which means when we send high using the digital write command, it's going to turn off the device and we use low to turn it on. Under the loop function, which is called over and over again, we are checking the new value of the button. So if the new value is zero, and the old one is 1, that means we have uh, pushed the button. In that case, we are going to change the state of the uh, device. If it's on, we're going to change it to off. And if it's off, we're going to turn it on. And here we are using the digital write command to turn the device on or off, depending on the device on variable. If it's true, we're going to change it to high. If it's false, we're going to change it to low. I don't know why I have this dollar sign. Let's get rid of it. Of course, we need to make sure that the old value is set to the new value. We're creating the same logic for the different four pins or different four devices. And finally, we have to make a delay because the loop function is called so fast. And that's pretty much it. Now we can select the board. I'm using an Arduino Nano that is connected to the port COM10. Make sure to select the right one. It could be different. Now it's compiling the sketch. And once it's done, we will be able to control the devices using the remote. So if we press the first key, which is the A key, we can turn on and off the relay number one. The same thing for the other ones. 
like B, C, uh, sorry, D, and the last one is the C key, which controls this light. For demonstration, I have connected this one. So this is gonna be the high voltage. Make sure to connect the negative uh, lead of the high voltage to the negative lead of the lamp or the fan. But the positive lead will go to the normally open circuit, which means it is open by default. And when we activate the relay, it's gonna uh, close the circuit. And the other lead goes back to the positive lead of the high voltage so that we can turn on and off the device by connecting these wires or disconnect them. So I hope you like this project. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.